So this is the first video of my new little project. Uh, this is the project that's gonna go on full blast after I complete Nahari, but I've already started and I will do it mostly on Fridays, but every now and then on a Thursday I'll do a little bit and it will be what I call my, the Baby Rudin Project. And what is this project right now as currently configured is gonna be me going over the very f the first seven chapters of uh, Baby Rudin and then also reading in other books that I have used before uh, and, and also doing other books at least for the first two chapters. So there is a number systems book that I have uh, that I plan to read completely and then there's also at least one basic uh, point set topology book that I plan to read. At least one, perhaps there will be a second one, I do not know. And then once I launch into launch, not lunch, three, four, five, six, and seven, these five chapters, which is really R, one, R2, uh, will be done with uh, a few other books in which I will read, and I've already started a cycle. So that's Baby Rudin. You guys have seen it before if you watch any videos in my channel. So as of today, I've read the first chapter, which is number systems, including the Dedekind, Dedekind construction in the appendix, which is a beast. Uh, then also, so, uh, and I'll, I'll give an update of what I have read so far, because I've only read, I haven't started doing problems. Chapter one of uh, this monster, uh, which is what I call TBB, Thompson Bruckner Bruckner, I've shown this book before, was very quick. This morning, I think in about an hour, I read, uh, I read uh, chapter one. It's, I mean, if you see the book, and then also I went through the appendix, the only appendix that I have done. Uh, I would like to cover the whole book. I do not know if that's going to be what's ha what happens. Then also, I will read uh, a lot of Bardo and Sherbert because I just think it's a great book. It's a classic. It needs to be done. Uh, the original plan was to run through Abbott because I have lectures uh, on YouTube that I have used before. I used them when I read Wade and uh, use uh, Abbott as the guide, but that did not work out because when I was reading the, the, the Dedekind, uh, get it. when I was reading and, and rooting the Dedekind construction, um, I, at first I saw that um, Abbott had a little bit, a little section on it. Uh, it's kind of interesting how that played out. So Abbott got himself knocked out of the first round as the lead because uh, when I read in the Dedekind cons uh, Construction, way back here at section 8.6 of the book, uh, I did. I love, he writes so well, it's, it's like talking to him in person. It's beautiful, I'm gonna read the whole book for sure. Uh, but I don't like that the questions are put in the middle of the text. I don't like that at all. It's just not my style. I want to have the questions at the end. I want to read everything at once in the beginning. That just messed with me. And so it means that I will go through this book, but I will use it almost like an exam, almost at the end of the cycle when I read everything else and when I work out a bunch of problems in the other books. Uh, and sure enough, true to Rudin's uh, intensity, if you will, or strength, um, De Abbott helped me get started, but Rudin definitely finished the job. And so, in the way the way uh, Rudin describes the Dedekind's construction, it is very thorough. Now, it is very difficult, and I'll show in my notes that there is one section, A5, right here. This is a beast. I just, I, I got lost, and this is something that I, Rudin does a lot that I don't like, that he'll have like eight different letters all working at the same time and then he'll keep flipping them that's just that's what how he does it and it's painful it's very painful so when i map the four books which is of course and you guys have seen these books before bardo and sherbert of course a great classic love this book bardo of course an authority and a, a great figure uh, and then of course you also saw abbott understanding analysis and tbb the beast so, just because it is so heavy, but I love it. It's got a ton of problems. When you map these four books, Abbott, 
and uh, the first seven chapters of Rudin map really closely and the first ten chapters of TBB also map closely and basically the entire book of Bardo and Sherbert also maps so as part of this what I call the baby Rudin project for now I don't really know if there's gonna be a chapter two but or part two but this is the, the part that I'm gonna that I can manage in the near future I'm gonna try to do all of these books and let's see how far I get now also for chapter one I want to do this number systems and foundations of analysis and the foundations of analysis I've already looked through the book read a little and I love it I love it it's got a lot of stuff that I want to learn and I want to really get into number systems I want to do it right do it once do it right uh, so I plan to read this whole book and this is what we'll, I'll start reading after I finish uh, Nehari when Nehari is over this book starts although I may start it earlier and double up I'm not a fan of doubling up but I really want to get going with this and sure enough at, at the back of this book uh, he also Mendelssohn does a dedicated construction uh, but I felt that I did not want to read it because I just want to get better at the number systems game and then I want to read this so sure enough this book does have a dedicated construction and this diagram was copied by Abbott <laughs> which I found very amusing but I think I think this is the one that's gonna teach me what's really going on uh, but what's weird about the dedicated construction is that in some cases you're dealing with sets and in other cases you're dealing with relations and it's easy to get confused and I sure did then for chapter 2 uh, for chapter 2 once I get to points of topology I plan to cover this beautiful book uh, by John Conway and um, yeah so looking through it reads great uh, not a very long book and I may do a second points of topology book I am not sure uh, I don't I don't know how this is all gonna play out then to my notes of course let me zoom out because I forgot to zoom out before with a small book uh, I did read uh, all of chapter one of Rudin. Very difficult read in some cases. I can tell in some of these proofs that the only way to come up with the equation that is laid out in the proof is for somebody to have started. And <laughs> I think somebody started at the very back, at the very end, and said, "Okay, this is what I need to prove. Let me just add all these factors to get to this equation." I don't see how anyone else could have come up with these equations otherwise. Uh, I wish Rudin had diagrams so wherever I can and I'm reading something I put in a diagram but I, I like reading it uh, the book reads well the field axioms are laid out very well uh, what I did do just to train myself is I didn't just read his proofs for the field axioms the ones that he did I actually did them myself and then would check his results um, and I found that very helpful so all these little squares usually are things that I did and so yeah yeah but the uh, the Archimedean property the way Rudin explained that it, it's not that great in my opinion um, yeah so this is chapter one this this I I can tell that I did this on my own and then I checked with Rudin to see how he did it this too so I like to do that just to to get into the habit of uh, learning and I just kind of wrote reading what somebody does uh, I do want to do a little bit of the Kashi Schwartz uh, inequality I did some reading about it I think at some point I'm gonna just go and uh, find a couple of proofs of how it's done to compare with the way Rudin did it uh, yeah then I read that about Dedek and Cuts in Abbott but I got stuck uh, I just did not like the way uh, I, he explained some things to me that helped me when I went back to Rudin but yeah I I didn't like it I didn't like the way it played out so th this this will have to be a reread redo later I'll, I'll redo this section later after I make a lot more progress with everything else uh, then I read in Rudin and I kept trying to draw diagrams but these diagrams are not accurate because these are sets and they're yeah it's it's gonna take me it's gonna take more I think I'm gonna have to wait till I finish the Mendelssohn book and read about the dedicated construction in the Mendelssohn book to come back and read 
what Rurin did with the delegate construction, and then also uh, look at uh, Abbott's take on it. But I kept drawing, I kept trying to draw, and everything was okay in some way, but uh, there was the one part, the A5 part, that was messed up. That just threw me for a spin, and it's right here, it's all this. Yeah, all this threw me for a spin. And then, um, yeah, I started reading in TBB. So I think the way I'm going to do these updates uh, are going to be infrequent uh, while I continue with Nahari, I believe. Maybe once every two weeks, once every three weeks. I do not know. But I'm going to try to make as much progress as I can with Nahari uh, because I know that double booking is not effective. But And I've already started reading. It's not here, but I already started reading in uh, Bardo and Sherbert. 